16th edition of the Eastern States Exposition Draft Horse Show. I'd like to welcome you this afternoon to this beautiful Saturday afternoon here at the Eastern States Exposition. We have a full afternoon of draft horse showing for you. Before we do get started, we would like to introduce our officials for 2017. Run in the management of Mr. Jason Gates from Tequesta, Florida. He's assisted by Mr. Jay Mullen of Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Special assistant to the management from Concord, Massachusetts, Mr. Matt Mindy. Horse show coordinator from Chillingworth, Connecticut is Stacy Hathaway. Our horse show secretary is Pam Turner of Horseheads, New York. Official horse show photographer in 2017 from Goshen, Connecticut, Miss Stacy Lynch. And our veterinarian is Dr. Chris Koss of Millbury, Massachusetts. Parking director from East Bridgewater, Massachusetts, Mr. Gary Sikoshin. Our camping director, he comes from Chukaluski, Florida, Mr. Richie Butler. He'll be making an appearance this evening in center ring. Our paddock master from Madeira Beach, Florida is Mr. Terry Mason. And our ring master from Elmore, Ohio is Mr. Larry Hansberger. Please welcome judging this year in 2017 from Laeto, Indiana, Mr. Kyle Love. This time we ask you all to please rise as we first honor our neighbors to the north and introduce you to our organist for 2017. She comes from New Waterford, Ohio with the playing of O Canada, Amy Paradise Braden. Ladies and gentlemen, ask you all to please remain standing as we now honor the United States of America, her leaders and soldiers with the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Amy Paradise Braden of New Waterford, Ohio, with the playing of the United States and Canadian National Anthems. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready now to get underway with the first class of our afternoon session. It is the junior card class. There are eight total in this. We did split them into two sections of four. So the first four making their way up the chute as we speak. Keep your eyes on the Jumbotron. Here they come.
Pass is complete for Section A. Drivers underway at the trot, please. Underway at the trot, please. And starting with our kingpin entry, then we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our kingpin entry. Bella, if you would, start the reverse, please. And thank you drivers, down to the walk please. Trot please. Show it the trot please. And once again, starting with our king pin entry, then we will call for the lineup, please.
So we'll open the gates then. Section one of the junior card class will be dismissed, starting with our Dreamland entry. Driving out to your right, please. Starting with our Dreamland entry. Driving out to your right, please. Remaining entries follow, please. Head out to the holding area. So the second half of the junior card class going to make their way in at this point with eight total in this class. Obviously we would need to split those into two sections with young drivers. It is always better to give them a little bit more space in which to operate. So section two making their way up the chute as we speak. Class is complete. Drivers underway at the trot, please. Judging now underway at the trot, please. And starting with our Maple Hill entry then, we will call for the reverse please, starting with our Maple Hill entry. Thank you, drivers. Down to the walk, please. At a walk, please. Trot, please. Show the trot.
And starting with our Maple Hill entry, we'll call for the lineup, please. And we'll open the gate and we'll bring the uh, first section in to the lineup. Redcoats, if you would, open the gate. Section one, driving in to the right, please. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our junior kart competition here at the Big E. Eight of our young drivers here with the many hitches that have joined us in 2017.
The results official now in class number 23. It is our junior card class. Class sponsored today by Kingpin Farms for Burger Barn and Jason and Celeste Hill of Ocean Weekend, Ontario. First place and Blue Ribbon honors today. Driving out to your left will congratulate 268. It's Bella Hill of Kingpin Farms in Ocean Weekend, Ontario. One of our two Canadian hitches with us here at the Big E this year from Oshweekin, Ontario, Canada, Bella Hill winning our junior cart competition. Second place, we'll congratulate 274. It's Bald Eagle Creek Farm. Anna Ruby of Fawn Grove, Pennsylvania, driving for Bald Eagle Creek Farm. Third place to 253. It's Maddie Sweck of Bradford, Rhode Island, driving for Iron Horse Hitch, and Leonard Weiss of Bradford. Into fourth, 271, it's Sawyer Hussey driving for White Mountain Percherons and Julian Justin Hussey of North Conway, New Hampshire. Fifth award goes to 277, it's Madison Booker of Bidford, Maine. Driving for Maple Hill Belgians. Sixth award to 264, Dylan Anderson. Driving for Javi Knoll Stables in Duxbury, Massachusetts. Into seventh, 262, it's Hannah Holchansky of Middlebury, Vermont, driving for Donnell Belgians. And the eighth award at 259, it's Billy Cario of Roxbury, Connecticut, driving for Dreamland Farm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give them a nice Big E send-off. The winner of our junior card competition today, taking their blue ribbon back to Oshweekin, Ontario, Canada. It's Bella Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, next up on the schedule is class 24, our open mayor card class. We are expecting five in this one.
Class is complete. Judging underway at the trot, please. Drivers underway at the trot, please. And we will start a reverse then with the Oak Hall hitch. Miss Allabach, if you would, start the reverse, please. When you make your way into the corner, Oak Hall starting the reverse. Thank you very much, drivers. Down to the walk, please. Trot, please. Show the trot. Starting with our Oak Hall entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. Starting with the Oak Hall entry.
Ladies and gentlemen, we do have official results now of the Class 24 Open Mare Cart Competition. First place in Blue Ribbon Honors will congratulate 275. It's Nicole Hansberger of Bellevue, Michigan, driving the All-Star Farms Cart. Nicole Hansberger on the All-Star Farms winner of our Open Mare Cart Competition. In the second place, driving out to your left, congratulations to number 261, it's Jane Gray of Harrison, Maine. So correction, Wyatt Cavanaugh with the win for Trip Crest Farm in second place. Third place, number 270, it's Kirk Fenoff in the Sugar Ridge RV Village. Fourth place, the 252, Melissa Allabach driving for Oak Hall Farm in Bowlesburg, Pennsylvania. And the fifth award of 263, it's Randy Robertson of Doraldummer, Ontario, and the Stony Lake Belgians. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together once again for the winner of the Open Mare Cart Competition, Nicole Hansberger of Bellevue, Michigan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take just a couple minutes to recondition the surface of the arena in preparation for our final two classes of our afternoon in our hitch section of the schedule. Tractors making their way in now. Ladies team hitch competition is up next. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready now to continue on with the final two classes of our afternoon. The first of those two classes is our ladies team hitch competition. We are expecting 12 total entries in this. We are splitting them into three sections of four. First of those sections making their way up the chute right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Skyline Farm Team. The Sherwood Groves Team. Kingpin Farms team. And rounding out section one, the Belgians from the Laura Rob Dairy Farm. Ladies, underway at the trot, please. Judging underway at the trot, please.
And starting with our skyline entry, then we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our skyline entry, Miss Bowling, if you would, start the reverse, please. Thank you, ladies. Down to the walk, please. Down to the walk, please. And return to the trot, if you would. Back to the trot, please. Once again, starting with our skyline entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. There you have it, section one of the ladies team hitch competition. And we'll open the gate then, and we will dismiss section one to the holding area, please, starting with our Lord Rob entry. Driving out to your right, if you would, ladies, to the holding area. And the second section will be making their way in momentarily, as you can probably imagine, with 12 
Large wagons out there, traffic can be somewhat of a problem, so uh, second section will be making their way in as soon as everything is clear. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-star farm team of Percherons. The HD Rapid Percherons. The Belgians from Rock Bottom Farm. Rounding out section two, please welcome to the arena the Iron Horse Hitch. Ladies, class is complete. Judging underway at the trot, please. And starting with the all-star entry, then we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our all-star entry. Ms. Hansberger, if you would. Thank you, ladies. Down to the walk, please. At a walk, please. Trot, please. Return to the trot, please. And starting with the all-star entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. Starting with the all-star entry.
And open the gate then, and we'll dismiss our group to the holding area, starting with our Iron Horse entry. Driving out to your right, please. Remaining entries, feel free to follow as they head to the chute. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that all of the seating that you see in the stands is free of charge. So if you're here, you want to sit down and enjoy the rest of the show, uh, please join us in the stands. All of the seating is free. Uh, feel free to join us in the stands and enjoy the rest of this draft horse show. One more section of ladies team, then our junior team closing the afternoon. Four more ladies bringing their teams in next. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stony Lake Belgians, followed by the Sugar Ridge RV Village Belgians. The Belgians of Oak Hall Farm. And rounding out our third section, it's the Clydesdales from Hobby Knoll Stables. Ladies, class is complete. Judging underway at the trot, please, if you would. At the trot, please. And starting with our Hobby Knoll entry, then we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our Hobby Knoll entry. Ms. Hayes, if you would, set the reverse, please. Thank you, drivers. Down to the walk, please. Down to the walk, please. Trot, please. Show the trot, please.
And starting with our hobby, no entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. Ladies, nice and tight in the lineup. We are going to try to bring in the rest of the entries. So nice and tight in your lineup, please. Hobby Noel setting the line. Nice and tight. There you have it, section three of our ladies team hitch competition. So we'll ask the Red Coats to open the gate. We will bring in sections one and two of our ladies team hitch competition. Driving into your right ladies, straight into line. Mr. Hansberger will get you all lined up nice and tight. There you have it, the ladies team hitch competition in its entirety.
Ladies and gentlemen, we do have the results of our ladies team hitch competition this afternoon. Before we do those, how about a hand for all 12 of these ladies out here worked hard for you this afternoon. They did a fabulous job. Winning the ladies team hitch competition, driving out to your left. Please congratulate number 275, Nicole Hansberger of All Star Farm in Bellevue, Michigan. Nicole Hansberger, the winner of our ladies team hitch competition here at the Big E. Second place, help us congratulate number 267. It's Hannah Deer of Lisbon, New York, driving the HD Rapid Percherons. Third place at number 255, it's Jocelyn Berry of East Bethany, New York, driving the Laura Rob Dairy Farm Belgians. Fourth place to 252. That's Melissa Allabach of Oak Hall Farm in Bullsburg, Pennsylvania. In the fifth, 263, it's Nancy Robertson in the Stony Lake Belgians of Doral Dummer, Ontario, Canada. Sixth award to number 270, Mary Fenoff, driving for the Sugar Ridge RV Village in Danville, Vermont. Seventh award to 257, Linda Toms of Aaronsburg, Pennsylvania, driving for the Sherwood Groves Farm. Eighth award goes to number 260, Janet Perkins, driving for Rock Bottom Farm in Stowe, Massachusetts. Eighth place, our final ribbon today. We'll acknowledge the remaining entries on their way out today. We'll acknowledge in ninth place, number 268, Celeste Hill of Kingpin Farm. Acknowledgement in 10th place, number 253, that's Dana Cushman in the Iron Horse Farm of Bradford, Rhode Island. 
Our 11th place acknowledgement to number 265, Brenda Bowling and the Skyline Farm. And our 12th place acknowledgement goes to number 264, Mallory Hayes and the Hobby Knoll Stables. How about a hand for 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th place as they exit today? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the winner of our ladies team hitch competition, taking her blue ribbon back to Bellevue, Michigan. It's Nicole Hansberger driving the team from All Star Farms for owners Doyle Dingman and Nick Wagner. So there will be a slight hold before our last class of the day, our junior team hitch competition. One of our hitches making a quick change before they return from the ladies team hitch competition. So junior hitch will wrap us up and that will be in a few minutes. They are doing a quick change out back. In the meantime, I'd like to introduce you to our organist for 2017 from New Waterford, Ohio, Amy Paradise Braden. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be also having featuring our draft horses this evening for a 6 p.m. performance. Tonight's feature is the Clydesdale Six Horse Hitch, our Belgian, Belgian Fours, and our Percheron Unicorns. Tonight also Ladies Night, as we'll be featuring our Ladies Cart Competition for our breeds as well. Not going to want to miss this one, 6 o'clock right here in the Coliseum.
And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our equipment change has completed itself, so we are ready now to continue on with the final class of our afternoon schedule. It is our junior division class, the team hitch competition for our juniors. Three entries making their way into the arena right now. Class sponsored today by Tom and Donna Armour of Ballston Spa, New York. Our junior team hitch competition wrapping up the afternoon of draft horses here at the Big E. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dreamland Farm Hitch. The White Mountain Percheron Hitch. And rounding out our class, the Clyde Sales from Kingpin Farms. Drivers underway at the trot, please. Judging underway at the trot, please. And starting with the kingpin entry, then we will call for the reverse, please. Ms. Hill, if you would, start the reverse, please. And thank you drivers, down to the walk please. Down to the walk please. And return to the trot please. Back to the trot please. And starting with our White Mountain entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. Starting with our White Mountain entry, Ms. Hussey, if you would, set the line, please.
Ladies and gentlemen, we do have the results now of Class 26, our junior team hitch competition. Class sponsored this afternoon by Tom and Donna Armour of Ballston Spa, New York. And we'll congratulate our winner today, number 271. It's Allie Hussey, showing for the White Mountain Percherons in North Conway, New Hampshire. Allie Hussey, winner of our junior team hitch competition today at the Big E. Second place will congratulate 268, Bella Hill, showing for Kingpin Farm and Jason and Celeste Hill of Oshwegan, Ontario. And a third award to 259, Billy Cario of Roxbury, Connecticut, Showing for Dreamland Farm and Bill Cario, also of Roxbury. Here's another look at the winner of our junior team hitch competition, Allie Hussey of North Conway, New Hampshire. Showing the team of Percherons from White Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, that does bring the curtain down on the afternoon session of Draft Tour showing today at the Big E. Tonight we get back underway for our final Saturday performance in 2017. We'll be featuring Ladies Night tonight. Our three breeds featured the Ladies Cart, as well as our Percheron Unicorns Belgian Four Horse Hitch, Clydesdale Six Horse Hitch competition, all featured tonight starting at 6 o'clock. We hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon here at the Big E, and we'll see everyone tonight. So long, everyone.